Yes. Now the purchase of food commodities such as rice, vegetable and oil in preparation for the Eid al-Adha celebration is a strong commitment for households across the country. In consideration of the unstable prices of basic food commodities in the market, iAfrica TV engaged women vendors on the business ahead of the feast. Details of that in this report. As the Eid al-Adha, commonly known as Tobuski, is approaching, Muslims all over the country are preparing to celebrate the feast. However, a noticeable hike in the prices of basic food commodities is a worrisome situation for the average Gambians. Fatuma Tamani, a fish vendor at the Sarakuna market, expressed her concern on the situation as in few hours to the annual religious event. Gambia's problem is rice, oil and fish. Because as you can see, I myself am a fish monger. But just look into my bowl. There is no fish because fish is expensive. Rice and oil are all expensive. I'm not educated, but I had people saying that some imported food commodities, there is no tax imposed on them. But today, a gallon of oil has risen from $750 to $1,800. That is hard. Even a jumbo cube is more expensive. Some are selling one cube for $5. Everything is expensive. Bintanjai is another fish vendor who explains the challenges she faces regarding the supply of fish from the sea. This basket of fish you are seeing is costing $3,000. A basket of bonga fish is $2,000. Before, a basket of bonga fish used to be $400, and these other fish used to be around $100 for a basket. The country is not going forward. It is really hard. We the poor are really suffering both in terms of selling and buying. The hike in prices of basic commodities has been reported many times in this country as the public continues to raise concerns as well as calling on government's intervention. The Ministry of Trade and Regional Integration earlier this year explained the causes of increment in market prices. The issue with rice and edible oil was blamed on global phenomenon brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. For iAfrica News, I am Amindao. The Ministry of Health, through the